The hell of the north is known for its cobblestones, and I would love to tell you all about them and the volcanoes that formed them, but actually, the cobbles are from Belgium. The real story is why they're here in the first place, and it's a dusty one that has everything to do with the subsurface hidden beneath the course. When you can't see below the surface because of fields and forests like we have here in northern France, you can always find the local geology in the walls of old buildings. The white limestones date back to the time of the dinosaurs. And this beautiful red brick. This is made of a special kind of dust called loess. And that comes from the Ice Age. Picture this landscape. Northern Europe is covered by a massive thick ice sheet that traveled as far south as the Netherlands. To the south, a harsh, barren tundra eroded by water and ice. The finest sediments are picked up by a polar wind and draped like a lust blanket from the English Channel all the way to Germany. And this goes on and on and on, and people have been dealing with the properties of Lust ever since. On the upside, it's fertile and great for farming. But Lus is a nightmare for anything on wheels. That's why they've paved the roads with cobblestones. But the dust and mud remain. So now, when you see the riders entering the velodrome completely covered in Lus, you'll know that it's because the hell of the north froze over. <laughs>